as soon as I said to my guides, let's do an archangel reading, I had my first message I've received all year about Valentine's Day. This Archangel Love Collective, it's about what's happening to you before Valentine's Day. It's about if you continue to get yourself into this world and not let the fear of loss stop you from living, you have big things happening to you this Valentine's Day. If you don't already have a connection, something new is forming. There's a new person entering your life. If you do have a connection, more is forming between you two. There has been an extreme amount of rebirth rising from the ashes since 2024 started for you. You have released an extreme amount of negative energy, unrealistic expectations, feeling like you always have to say yes and knowing you can't control everything. You have risen from the ashes. And now that you continue to trust that fruition in 2024 with love is here, Somebody is about to appear. Let's get what... So for me to further this download, I got a new Archangel Collective. This is. But I know for a fact that we have a download about what's happening to you. If you continue the moves, if you continue seeing what is to be upgraded, but what you have already mastered, and not overindulging in the need to always change. I know this sounds like almost a contradictory thing, but you gotta think of the law of attraction and trusting yourself like a wave, like surfing. There's moments you need to pull back and there's moments you know to lean forward. Very interesting. What Archangel Collective is this? It's the result. And chariot, chariot. Sorry that I can't say that say it always correct, but I will put the name of it and I will put the stone picture, etc. Are you finding that life is out of control? Do you need a do you need to sort sort out exactly what's going on to the reason for the chaos? Take time to go within and call on Arc Ascended, call on the Ascended Masters, Spirit Guides, and Angels to provide you with the inspiration you need to transform your life. I have a deep understanding of myself and the circles of life around me. I'm aligned with the divine. I'm okay. Got it. So February, there's obviously love on everybody's mind. I mean, all the time, but especially in February. Somebody has their eyes on you. And I wouldn't be surprised if you would be out and about not even thinking about this person and you see them. You're going to be... Mm -hmm. Okay. The hunter outwards, the rider. In recent times, there's been a feminine in this dynamic, and you know if you're the masculine or if you're the feminine, who has had to go through some form of justice. Leveling out the scales... There's been writing, there's been agreements being made, so there could be some form of separation. This could be your first single Valentine's Day in a long time. Or you could have, with the writing, you could have signed off on something that doesn't even have to do with a relationship that is releasing you from a lot of fear and something that was weighing you and anchoring you down to not be able to move forward with like a relationship or the next stage of your life until this part was solidified. You are in control. And know that this next person you are to be paired with is a very strategic individual. They know what they want and they go for it. 
if you are building a connection right now, they're stating this person is part of your eyes timeline. You don't see the tears they shed, but you feel it. I have a masculine that's trusting the guidance and is going to ask you if you are the feminine. about where this can form into more. If you'd like to go look at the stars with me, if you'd like to go walk with me, I'm seeing two people outside at nighttime. Very much looking at the stars. This is a person who has a deep sense of patience and safety that enwraps them. If this is a connection that's already forming, you know exactly who it is. Aim high with this divine connection. Do not let the others that hurt you, broke promises that you had to separate with, stop you from trusting what you're feeling with this connection. Result Collective, if you are Paired with this is one of your first single Valentine's Days or etc. And you're wanting to get out of the box. What I sense is by you bringing yourself to new places. Hanging out with maybe even people that are... I'm seeing somebody who has been invited out by some co-workers or etc. And normally you would say, oh no, I'm not going to do that, but... You're like, you know what? Fuck it. What do I, what, why shouldn't I? I don't have somebody I'm dedicated to. There's nothing to lose. There's only to gain from this. And by you releasing this fear and getting out of your comfort zone, honoring your courage, your bravery, you are aligning with somebody that just also released what no longer served and has had time to analyze why. This person connected to you as a builder. Their collective takes what resonates. That could mean somebody that works an architect. That could be a construction worker. That could be somebody that works deeply with their hands. Or this could mean somebody who is like a mastermind of a map. Like their 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 job, they're they're a very logical thinker, and they can see and map things out that other people can't. You can fill things other people can't. They can see things other people can't. And when you bring your powers together, it is a force of justice. Wow. Okay, let's continue to build off this. So you will be spending Valentine's Day with this person. So the reason this person is filling the hunt for you is because you're this independent source and they see that it's not to be taken lightly when somebody has your attention. That you don't expect perfection, but you are, they, they do sense you are harder on yourself. This masculine wants to take you more than on a restaurant, more than the stereotypical. I mean, yeah, it's cool to have the stereotypical like Valentine's Day stuff, you know, movies, going out to eat, etc. I'm not saying they're gonna skip over those things, but they want more. They want to make it more special for you. And I see complete determination too. Yeah, leap of faith. If you bring yourself out of your comfort zone, you say yes to these new opportunities. You don't let fear of falling in love and losing stop you from living. You are having a extremely divinely guided soul tie entering your life or expanding. That's what I have for you. And now that I know we have just started February channeling, we're going to dive more into that.
February is a filling in your cup month. I feel like January has been forming your new chalice, but now it's a filling. That's what I got for you today with Zell Collective. And I'll see you when I see you. Let's get it. a little bitty for the Rizal Collective. The best way is your way. You are an extremely confident individual. And in real recent times, I need you to understand the snakes the lines that have been crossed, your strength to just not give in. You have passed a lot of tests that don't need to be done again. You see the power in your intention and where you put your mind will always thrive. You know exactly what you're deserving of. And that a divine counterpart A person you thought was your divine counterpart for a long time that is not the soul connected to the reading from before, like you saw this part. You thought somebody that you could have been married to in a really long relationship with, etc. was your divine counterpart. And you realize going forward, you had, at that moment, at that time, you, 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 were, you were supposed to believe that this person was more... than a trial that this person was endgame because you learn nothing's truly ever endgame if you have to fight so fucking hard to be seen and heard. You are probably the black sheep of your family and people usually come to you for advice so it's hard when you need advice on what to do. Because you don't know who to go to. This is a blessing. And I don't like to say a curse. But it's truly a blessing in disguise. To know that you can trust your own intuition. And know that all these people can come to you for help. But when you need help. You're like who can I, who can I really trust? You. I know it's like the. But no for real you. And the more you have taken care of yourself. And stopped. Second questioning if you know how to read your life and you can feel when your emotions are trying to cloud judgment it is you that's why it's a blessing in disguise you can ask yourself for the advice when it comes to 3d world things of course like learning a skill or um, you know something that doesn't have to deal with internal compass you can get help always that internal compass though it's a gift to know it's in you and that you don't have to go ask for advice. You have matured people that you can go to to help solidify your that you can trust your intuition, but you are so on par with this. February is a very exciting, fruitful, luscious month for you. And I'll see you when I see you. Let's get it.